Hello, good afternoon to you. My name is Latrina. A short while ago, I sent you an email offering you a free video um, auditing your online presence. I have a few minutes here in my afternoon, so I'm going to make this quick video for you. Hopefully, you'll find it to be helpful. As I mentioned in the email, I'm not selling anything in this video. I believe givers gain as a small business owner myself. People have helped me along the way, so I try to pay it forward and help other business owners um, out there. So. Um, I make these videos. If you find it to be helpful, let me know um, just so that I can continue to improve them. So I'm going to be brief as possible because I know you probably have a busy day lined up. So I'm going to cover content backlinks and citations and why these are important website elements for you to have. I'll take a look at your company's online presence and I'll make any recommendations that I see um, that could improve your online presence and get you more traffic. So content, as you can imagine, is the words, images, and videos, anything that's appearing on your website, either in the back end or the front end where people are actually seeing it. To attract Google, you need sufficient keywords on your page. You also need enough content. Ideally, you'd have at least 1,500 words on your home page and at least 500 on your back pages, okay? This allows you to sprinkle all the relevant keywords to describe your services and products so that Google knows how to present you in the search results. Then we have citations. Citations are listings and directories such as the one shown there. It's your business name, address, and phone number. You want to have enough of these throughout the internet because it validates your business and it helps Google to identify you as a real company. Then backlinks. Backlinks are the placement of your website URL onto other websites. So if you think about your website being placed in Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Yelp, any of those whatsoever, these are considered backlinks because they direct traffic away from those sites back to your website. But not all backlinks are created equal. So for you, um, you'd want to make sure you stay in the home improvement, construction um, niches, right? Um, because if Google sees your website on a different, you know, unrelated website, then they won't give you credit for that and they'll actually raise suspicions. The more backlinks you have, the more popular your website becomes. It's just like high school. If you hang out with the popular kids, you're more likely to be popular by association. The same thing with your backlinks. If your backlinks are low or um, associated with authoritative websites, then you kind of get th that power and that recognition as well from Google, okay? So backlinks are very helpful. So let me hop over to Google for a moment. I'm gonna come back to your website. Your website is incredibly beautiful. I'm gonna come back to it though. Um, so when we search on Google, I did construction company, Los Angeles, California. What you're presented with here at the top usually are advertisements. And then as you move further down, you come to this prime real estate here called the map pack. And this is where you want to find your business if possible listed, um, because this is where Google has listed who they perceive to be the top ranking businesses. Okay. As you move further down, you'll see pages like Yelp, Angie, Thumbtack, Home Advisor, and then other businesses listed here. Ideally, you're going to be somewhere at the top of the page or in this map pack because, as you can imagine, most people are making their decisions on this, you know, the first page, um, the top of the page, okay? So how do you get into the map pack and find yourself at the top of the page? There are lots of factors, mainly the citations that I mentioned and the backlinks. Those are going to help you tremendously. You also want to make sure your Google profile is optimized, okay, because that also gives you um, an edge over your competition, okay? You want to make sure like your images are, are optimized. You want to make sure you have lots of Google reviews. Those things help you tremendously, okay? So let me hop over to your website, Terry. First of all, like I said, it's a gorgeous website. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. <sighs> I can only imagine living there, but I digress. Um, your, your website is beautiful. I like how you've laid it out. You've obviously taken some time to think about how your page is going to look out. Look like it's very minimalistic. It's very um, well organized. I would suggest, um, just a suggestion, is maybe on the top fold of your page, have a short contact form where they can leave simply their name and phone number even, or name, phone number, email, so that they can reach out to you or you can reach out to them right away. 
a lot of times people will call, but what happens is they either hang up or you can't tell what they're saying on the voicemail. So at least with the contact form, you can acknowledge it and get right back to them. Um, I would probably make your phone number stand out a little bit more. Um, and you definitely need content. You, brought, you hardly have any content on your homepage. So let me tell you why that's important. Let me show you. I have the page open up. So I ran some stats on your, on your page just to see how your search engine optimization is working. And right now you're using no meta descriptions. These are critical for Google ratings and Google placement, okay, in the search results. You need to have meta descriptions. You have no headings that you're using. Headings are important. They're, bread, they're breadcrumbs to Google. And they help Google to identify those services or those things that you are trying to highlight on your web page so that they know how to put you in these search results. Without meta tag information, without headings, without enough content, you have barely any content on your home page or your back pages, and your images are not labeled correctly. These right here are red flags for Google, which means Google is not going to want to touch your website, which is unfortunate because you have a beautiful website, website as I've mentioned, okay? So you definitely want to take some time to upgrade your website and make it optimal. Definitely content is going to be your friend. Um, getting all of these things tagged is also going to help you. Now, you may be saying, okay, well, how do I know that's really going to help me? Let me show you. So this is, this is like Google data, um, essentially. And right now, you have no organic keyword searches that you're ranking for. It doesn't even apply. You have 21 backlinks, which is really low. It one time had 121. Still kind of low, but it was better than what you have. It's 100 more than what you have now. Your referring domains are only nine. Um, and if you can see, I looked up the Los Angeles General Contractor, their homepage, or I'm sorry, their website, they're ranking and getting considerably more traffic across the board. You're getting zero organic traffic, they're getting 200. Look at this, every single day, lots of traffic are there appearing in, in search results. Now let me give you some examples of what your competitor is doing as far as keywords, just to get your your thoughts working a little bit on how to approach this. So some of their keywords are related to their name, so we're gonna ignore those. But look here, General Contractor Los Angeles, 700 people are searching that every single month. It's a relatively low keyword difficulty, meaning it's not that difficult to rank for that. Um, they're in position six, which is pretty good. Los Angeles General Contractors, 350 people are searching that. Contractor Los Angeles, 200 people are searching that a month. So you can see if we go down this list, there's a lot of volume of um, search results that you could be getting. Right now you're not getting any of these whatsoever, none. Um, which is a shame because look at your page, look at the beautiful work that you're doing. So my takeaway for, for you is to get some more um, content on your pages. Your content should be describing all of these wonderful services you provide. And each of these back pages, make sure they too have sufficient content and keywords, okay? Right now, Google is crawling your site. They're actually probably not even crawling it anymore because I saw the NAs here. Um, but once you redo your site, add it, you know, some more some more content. Get those keywords that people are actually searching for, such as the examples that I showed you a moment ago. That will help you tremendously. Also, adding um, those citations, get more citations out there, work on your Google profile. Um, I didn't look at your, let me look for your Google profile really quickly. Might as well, since I have your attention. Let's see if I can give you any suggestions there. Yeah, you're going to want a more, you only have 12 right now. That's that's really low. Um, so you definitely want to get more Google reviews. Let's see, look at this. This is beautiful work. Oh my goodness, people need to see your website, but right now your website is like a, 
billboard on a deserted island. We need to get more eyes on your page. Look at this. This is gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Okay, so hopefully this has been helpful for, for you. I hope um, that you can take some pointers from here and hopefully implement them so that you can get more organic traffic. It will save you some money tremendously um, with your spending, your advertising costs, and so forth. Organic traffic goes a very long way, okay? And if you can get yourself ranking in Google, it will help you help your bottom line, bring you in some more sales, and help you land those jobs that you, you know that you want, that you that you shine in. You absolutely do beautiful work. So, let me know if you have any questions. Um, with that, I'm going to end it here. I wish you a beautiful rest of your day and much continued success. By the way, you're in my old neck of the woods. I used to work at the um, Department of Veterans Affairs Medical Center there on San Vicente, right around the corner there. So looking at your looking at some of your photos brought back memories. Be in Los Angeles this weekend actually. So anyways, have a beautiful rest of your day and thank you so much for your time.